Hi friends, so today I am uh, back with the uh, case study third and that is uh, like I will be taking up important organisms as per my choice which I feel which can come in the exam. So as per me like uh, Campylobacter jejuni is also very important to remember. So we will take up uh, the case study of this particular one. Okay. So in this particular one, see the question. A 19 year old male college student presents to the student health department with abdominal pain, diarrhea and fever. Okay, a normal one, pain, diarrhea and fever. He says that his symptoms started a day ago. Okay, so incubation period is around like 1 to 3 for this particular one. He has had 10 stools in the past day. Okay, and has noted blood mixed with the stool. So means what? This particular thing blood mixed in. So this is what? Bloody diarrhea. So basically invasiveness. Okay, he usually eats at home, but reports having eaten chicken. This is the catch of the question. Okay, in the college cafeteria three days ago, he has no history of GI disease as such before. On examination, he has a temperature of this much, 100 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, appears to be in pain. His abdomen has hyperactive bowel sounds and diffusely tender, but without rigidity and rebound tenderness and guarding. Okay, the two loves under the options of surgical ones. A general surgeon is consulted and is considering the diagnosis of acute appendicitis. Okay, see this particular thing that acute appendicitis is being considered as the DD in this particular case versus bacterial gastroenteritis. Okay, and that is possibly related to what? That is the chicken which that fellow have eaten away in that particular cafeteria. Okay, a stool sample test positive for blood and the fecal leukocytes. So obviously the blood, if it is coming up, okay, means RBCs and all. And along with that, what is their fecal leukocytes? So what's the meaning of this particular thing? That this is inflammatory form of diarrhea. Okay, what it is? It's an inflammatory form of diarrhea and this is invasive form. So this is basically inflammatory and invasive ones. And because of that only, the fecal leukocytes are observed up in this particular one. The stool cultures are sent and subsequently positive for a pathological organism okay so that is what is the question and in this question what is the catch the catch is the first here the blood makes the stool another one the history of giving up that fellow have eaten up chicken okay then this particular thing a general surgeon is consulted and considering the diagnosis of acute appendicitis versus bacterial gastroenteritis so guys what you need to remember from this particular one that this is the Campylobacter vector eugenie infection mimics which particular surgical entity appendicitis okay then stool sample test is positive for what blood and fecal leukocytes fecal leukocytes if they are present of that itself is telling up that this particular one is inflammatory form of diarrhea and that's why it is having what fecal leukocytes is it fine fine then what is the most likely pathologic organisms? In what atmospheric environment does this organism grow? So obviously for this one, there is no choice with you because we have started with the case study of Campylobacter eugenie only. So the most likely pathologic organism is what? Campylobacter eugenie only, which we are targeting off here. Fine. Besides this, in what atmospheric environment does this particular organism grow? So regarding this particular one that uh, in what atmospheric environment does this organism grow you need to remember that it is what micro aerophilic and what is micro aerophilic means low amount of oxygen like 5 to 10 percent oxygen and more CO2 and other gases also okay and other gases also this is what is typical of micro aerophile so you can't call this particular one as aerobic or anaerobic okay it is a micro aerophile compiler vector jujuni fine now this we already discussed then remember guys here that uh, how does the infection of this one happens mostly eating a poorly cooked chicken that was that fellow have eaten up the cafeteria okay other things which are there milk water and other meats that can be there but mostly you have to look out in the question for what Polytree bird products okay and here in this question also it was regarding the chicken okay polytree bird products this history if it's there in the question then immediately you have to look out for this particular ones obviously salmonella and all they are also there 
but because of these things like uh, this particular uh, incubation period of 1 to 3 days and all that this comes towards and uh, in the question if you like uh, see up they have talked about appendicitis and all so these all are features regarding the compiler vector stuff now this might be a question that what is the incubation period of uh, this particular fellow that is the uh, infection compiler vector is his answer is 1 to 3 days and remember how to remember this 1 to 3 days c c is which alphabet third so 1 to 3 days is the incubation period of compiler vector jejuni this you need to remember along with that that was given in the question the fever malaise and abdominal pain is there now this is already done that is bloody diarrhea because invasiveness is there that's what is said in the explanation also that invasive to the lining of intestine and in a reverse manner of this particular question it can come in this way also that that fellow can give up some complications and then can say that this fellow had a history of eating of this particular thing after that develops these all features so remember the complications is compiler vector gastroenteritis they are pancreas can be inflamed pancreatitis peritonitis more uncommonly arthritis osteomyelitis and sepsis okay so remember this is which type of arthritis reactive arthritis and this was a question in all india reactive arthritis is due to so remember shigella compiler vector these all fellows they are important causes of reactive arthritis which tends to happen up okay incubation period you need to remember 1 to 3 days now the most important stuff regarding this everybody knows that it associates with what gulen barre syndrome okay gulen barre syndrome besides this and ne why it is like it does this gulen barre syndrome because there is a antigenic similarity between what between the lps that is the there is a gram negative help fellow lps of some serotypes of this and myelin proteins our myelin proteins and some serotypes of compiler vector jejuni lipopolysaccharide they show antigenic similarity like the streptococcus which shows up with the heart the same here and this is the cause for causing of this disease gulen barre disease okay then another strong hint which you look out in the question is fecal leukocytes and this suggests what guys inflammatory form of diarrhea okay this also you need to remember besides that this we already have discussed up by chance if at all it is a pgi question and all so they might linger upon these fellows that is compiler vector coli okay and compiler vector fetus okay these are also there the other species of compiler vector which can cause problem coli as the name suggests like e coli mostly associates with this gastroenteritis okay and this particular fetus as you have seen the complications it can directly cause them bacteremia septic arthritis peritonitis abscess meningitis endocarditis okay so if you are not seeing up jejuni in the options and you are seeing a fetus and these are there in the question then you can go for compiler vector again okay so they might be caused by compiler vector other than species fetus now what this particular fellow looks like it's a comma shape and another name for the same thing is what it is gull wing shape okay gull wing shape like this this is gull wing shape or comma shape exactly i can't say it is comma basically it is gull wing shape because comma is typical of vibrio but yes you can call and it is motile this everybody knows and it have a controversial flagella some say is a single or a single flagella on both the sides leading amphi and all that is also there so this you <clears throat> need to remember besides this does not produce spores and this is uh, no points in guessing gram negative bacilli so it will look like which color pink color microaerophile means what it needs less amount of oxygen more amounts of co2 and all now another important catch which you have to find in the question is it grows better at which particular temperature 42 degree centigrade this is the only organism which loves to grow at this particular temperature which one 42 okay another catch if you want to find out in the question now if we talk about the dd of this suppose they want to confuse us the differential diagnosis of this acute gastroenteritis which is being caused by compiler vector jejuni is regarding the salmonella shigella yersinia and compiler vector okay these four names at least you should remember 
and remember them you have to give ssc exam okay you have to give ssc exam and what is that saal mein le le shikela compiler vector and your senior okay you will give ssc exam so saal mein le le shikela compiler vector and your senior these are the four important words which is the dd of acute gastroenteritis this particular fine because it presents up these all presents up with the same features abdominal pain and cramps and they all have fecal leukocytes remember this inflammatory form of diarrhea important cause of non inflammatory form of diarrhea is what cholera okay another catch compiler vector gastroenteritis which we have talked about in this question can be misdiagnosed as appendicitis or irritable bowel syndrome another hint which you can look out in the question is regarding the appendicitis okay and bloody diarrhea you already know that it can be eiec it can be ehc it can be shigella it can be compiler vector also okay so this suggest that it is having invasiveness okay besides this if the question says like this oxidase positive colonies remember this organism is also oxidase positive one more to add to the list compiler vector jujuni is also oxidase positive characteristic comma shape and i would rather say what gulving shape okay small gram negative bacilli they are observed in the gram stain after these all episodes okay and another thing is mostly infections are self limited you only need to give what iv fluids and all that you have to maintain up that hydration status erythromycin used to be a drug of choice now as per harrison it is azithromycin which is the drug of choice okay and besides this as the like species change up like severity also increases up like in fetuses and all you can give up uh, even the meropenem like gentamicin they also have a good role but as such for compiler vector jujuni if somebody ask you azithromycin is a drug of choice okay so drug of choice and incubation period they always are important questions and incubation period of this particular one is how much guys 1 to 3 days 1 to 3 days and another to be added to the oxidase positive list is this one okay comma shape or gulving shape gulving or gulving which looks like this fine now see this particular question now you observe up this particular question and tell me the answer a 21 year old woman presents to the emergency room with shortness of breath 2 weeks after recovering from the stomach flu okay stomach flu means these all abdominal cramps and all that have happened up the physical examination of that particular lady reveals a ascending muscle weakness okay see the catch in the question ascending muscle weakness that begin in her toes and cardiac irregularities are also notable fine a review of the patient's chart revealed that the bacterial stool culture 2 weeks earlier I mean when you have seen the like previous reports of that particular lady what you have observed up in the flu episode in the culture and the gram stain what you observed up comma shaped organisms that is gulving shaped organisms which grow at which temperature guys 42 this is the hint and what she is having gulmarie syndrome okay so constipation compiler vector jujuni grows at this particular ones comma shape and what what she is having up she is having a gulen barre syndrome ascending type of paralysis okay starting from where starting from the toes okay so this is what will come in the exam okay so this is regarding the compiler vector jujuni in and around now in the nutshell if we go up look out these particular points regarding the compiler vector jujuni so compiler vector jujuni or species they are small okay they are motile it can be a single or single flagella on both the sides non spore forming they don't have the spores they are comma shape or gulving shape they are gram negative bacilli and they are best grown in what micro aerophilic environment at which temperature guys 42 degree definite question okay it have already come gulen barre is a rare neurological complication of this one which happens up which is ascending type of paralysis why does it happen because there is a cross the activity between myelin and this particular lipopolysaccharide of compiler vector jujuni okay this gastroenteritis is usually the self limited stuff okay it is usually self limited maintained by the fluids and all that okay but nowadays instead of erythro they love to like have another macrolide that is azithro so remember 
azithromycin is now termed as drug of choice previously it was erythromycin so remember this also campylobacter infection mostly often occurs after the poultry bird products like undercooked chicken and all fine another it comes in a dd of gastroenteritis caused by salmonella also okay what were the organisms we have told up you have to give which exam guys ssc yes you have to give this okay and what is that salmonella shigella campylobacter so the, this is uh, this one only and your senior this is basically a dd of this particular one the symptoms of fever and abdominal pain they can mimic what appendicitis okay so these all can be the question and one more can be the question that is the incubation period is how much guys 1 to 3 days 1 to 3 days is the incubation period okay so definitely one question is there from this particular compiler vector jujuni which you need to remember and uh, those uh, fmg fellows whose uh, results have come and they could not able to qualify up don't lose heart okay just be focused go in this approach of the exam because uh, those who are in the 140s and 130s they have lost out because of the approach this should be the approach you should catch up these points like 42 degree golden barre these all points to be captured under cook chicken then you should know that how to make a dd of it okay what does it mimics so these are the catches you don't have to read the like full question what you have to focus upon you have to focus upon these particular points and you have to catch hold of that particular question like this so don't guys don't lose your heart just be focused now because time is very less for you and uh, in fact uh, my neat uh, pg fellows uh, for you also the time is very less so be very focused जो बीत गया वो बात गई ठीक है एज पर द रिजल्ट ऑल्सो एग्जाम्स ऑल्सो लेट इट गो ओके वेरी बेस्ट ऑफ लक गाइज थैंक यू